Hi and welcome back. Uh, today's section is reusable React component. And uh, what we're doing basically is uh, creating a more generic input and label. Remember we have an input and label, right? Uh, if you guys remember, let me just uh, show you guys. If we go to app.js and we have a um, in search we have a label and we have an input right but they're not generic they're not reusable yet like they're because they're, they're not reusable because you can see it says HTML for search and ID is search so you can't use this over and over again so but let's make it so we can use this component in other places if we need to and that's all this section is about I was trying to make sense of the text that Robin was talking about, but it was just like there was no need for that. It's a lot, I think a lot of these things are a lot simpler than they appear to be. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, uh, let me pull up the code, the reference code. Okay, so we have a we're going to create a new component. We're going to place it uh, let's place it after app okay and we're gonna call it uh, input with label and this is just code that you guys can pull up if you have the book uh, so I'm not doing anything special here I'm just you know basically just copying whatever the whatever was in the reference code whatever was meant, uh, listed in the reference code and we're gonna have something like this right And then we have uh, the actual label and input, right? So just like that. I'm just going to, maybe I'm just going to cut it out. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to place it in here. But to make it generic, we need certain parts of this to be um, being passed to this component, right? So let me, let me minimize some of these things so it's a little bit easier to focus. Um, okay, I'm going to minimize search for a second. So, okay, so we're just focusing on input with label. Uh, all right, so what are the things that are coming from the outside? Well, whatever is coming from the outside, we have to give it a name and we have to put it right here in these between these curly braces. So, ID that's going to come in from the outside, meaning if somebody wants to use this component, they have to provide these values. Uh, type is going to be text. And uh, finally, on input change. Okay. Uh, and then obviously, we got to start replacing uh, some of these values with what's coming in from the outside with the parameters that are that are being provided. So HTML4 is going to be ID. Uh, here, we're going to have the label. So that's going to be the actual label, the actual text, right? All right, and okay, cool. Uh, Robin has a empty space here. Uh, okay, and this is just an empty space, uh, encoded character. What is it decoded? I always mix those two up. And ID here is going to be, you guessed it, ID. Uh, type is going to be, you guessed it, type. Value is going to be value. And on change is going to be uh, on input change. Okay, cool. Uh, I think that's it for this component. Uh, I don't have my prettier atom package running, so that's why it doesn't format it for me. So I'm gonna make sure it looks somewhat formatted. Uh, okay, cool. So next up is uh, what is what else? So where is this being actually used, right? Well, in uh, I'm looking at app. So it's it's being used in app in the app component. And after uh, my hacker stories, 
Um, let me see. Okay, so uh, in the app component, we have a uh, we have a search and we have a list. Wait, uh, he's using he's replacing the search component with this new input with label. Okay, I see. So there's no more search component. So let's get, let's take that out. I'm just gonna comment it out for now and we're gonna replace it with the input with label. Okay, and we're gonna provide the values for those parameters that we specified. That's going to be search and search value search term and finally on input change. And you guys can kind of figure out what each one of these are, right? Like uh, label ID value, you know, these are all part of the form. Then on input change is going to be the action that will be taken if there's a change, right? So, okay, so we're calling on that. We're calling on our we're instantiating input with label. We don't use search anymore. Okay, and then we have list and that's it. That's it, we, we just created a generic input with label that we can use in other places. Um, and so the last thing to do is to actually make sure that we don't have any we didn't make any mistakes so let's run it um, and it's being pulled up okay handle search is not defined on line 55 so right here handle search that's because we probably called it something else what do we call it? Uh, handle. I think we called it handle change. All right, let's try that. There we go. Redux. See, it still works. And then remember, we're still using the um, lo local storage. So if I open this up in a different tab, yeah, it's whatever we last typed in, right? So if we typed in. Uh, Let's say formula one, not two, one. Then, uh, and then we open up a new tab. It's still there. Okay, cool. I don't know, I, I just thought I'd point that out for whatever reason. So, okay, cool. Uh, that should be it. Um, all right, bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and spread the word if you can. All right, bye.